Milo or Milo, I don't know who has how to say his name. Uh, I also want to get the fish, but we'll do that after. Do, 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 do. Okay, so pet pavilion. I'm pretty sure all we have to do is just talk to everybody. Which I can breeze by. Why, hello there, my fine young friend. Have you by any chance participated in the dynamic display that is the Wizard City Pet Pavilion? It's a captivating cavalcade of prodigious proportions. Near this very spot are fine vendors of pets and pet provenda. That splendid structure over there is the hatchery. The Pet Derby offers all manner of enticing entertainments and delightful distractions for wizard and pet alike. What's that? You've something from Ambrose? That old rascal. Let me see what you've brought then. Milo Barker takes the package Merle asked you to deliver. He sniffs at it, then shakes it. From inside the box comes an outraged, muffled oink. I'd wager my reputation this is a pickle of some sort. I'm not sure what Merle thought we'd do with it. We're overstocked as it is. How about you keep this one? Nice. Yes, we'll do it. Might I be of some service educating you in matters relating to pets and their profound possibilities? The Wizard City Pet Pavilion has experts aplenty. They'll merrily monopolize your concentration with a wealth of useful information. So speak, if you will, to all of them. You can start with my little green friend here, Sir Nigel Higginbottom. He'll tell you more and can set you upon the right path. Why, hello there, Wizard. You may address me as Sir Nigel Higginbottom of the Marleybone Higginbottoms. All reputation, no doubt, precedes us, I say, with no humility whatsoever. That pets are capable of an amazing variety of tasks. This very pavilion is the ideal place to learn about it. In the hatchery, Dr. Perot hatchery? is an expert in my, pet hatchery. Speak to him, man. Near here are two shops. In a Okay, I'm pretty sure all he says is go talk to everybody else. So... I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. I'm going to skip a little bit. Oop. No, I want to talk to you. What? Oh, a customer. Come right in. Okay, so yeah, she I'm... has pets, and you can buy the and pets. you will find a better selection of snacks anywhere in the spiral. Guaranteed. And snacks give certain rewards and stuff, so that's her. This guy sells the pets, I'm pretty sure. Welcome to our shop. This is the finest assemblage of exotic pet eggs you'll find. We have an inventory. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, they sell pets. They sell pets, but you can also get them from Old Town, so that's okay. Uh, Dr. Peru in Pet Village. He's actually, this is the coolest part of pets, is what you can do. Like, you can... Yeah, whatever. You can, like, mate them. Hmm. What the oh. So basically they have to be an adult, but you can mate them with another pr player. So, yeah. I wouldn't mind actually doing that because I have an adult. So, wouldn't mind doing that in the future. Getting some good stuff. Okay, Sir Nigel. I trust that your tour of the grounds and it's as a... Yay, okay. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty well, straightforward. Now... So your edit. Games if you give don't train you... your pet, it won't grow up. So it's very important to pay attention. Okay, so we have to go, go and peruse read them at these. your leisure this and stroll ranked... on back to me Oops. when you're sufficiently schooled. In the ranked pet derby, your pet will race against other pets with prizes such as arena. Your pet's wins and losses are measured on your measured. character sheet. This and one's your pet practice, so it's just for fun. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, what was I talking about before I got rudely interrupted? So he's just saying, yeah, the this is how a pet works. So you can stop and read if you want, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to skip all that. Okay. He is done. Now it's time to go talk to the fisherman. The only cool thing really is um, the mating, because nobody really, it seems like nobody um, races anymore. Like, it's not a thing that you, people do in this game as much. I do, however, want... Hello, 
this guy is going to tell me about fishing so now I can fish. And then I need spells for better things and then I need to collect fish and then I need to do all that. Okay. Cool. So what do I need to do? I need to collect that stuff. Whatever. Okay. Okay, that's out of the way. Now, I'm going to go talk to the crafting lady. That mist wood should oh. do nicely. We're back, by the way. I forgot. Miss Tangle Tree gets to work with hammer, plane, and saw. In a few moments, you have a nice little work table. Now, with a basic crafting table, you have a place to work. Yes, now let's... with your work for this is basically we have to when craft you two, have daggers made two daggers of absolution. Bring them back to me, and I'll award you a novice crafter badge. Yes, 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 yes. So remember to bring them here when you're finished. Good luck. I can't wait to see them. She won't be quiet. Okay. So pets, you can train them by playing mini games, and depending on what type of mini game and what level you play, depending on what skill they have, so you, it's like agility, speed, endurance, blah, like all that kind of stuff. Once they're adult, you can mate them. I could have teleported. Dang it! You can mate them. You can also go in pet races, but the pet races are not that fun. Fishing. Uh, there's certain fish in certain spots you have to buy lures and then you have to grab the fish right now We have to get a couple fish, which I'll do that off-camera because that's it's pretty annoying um, And then crafting now we have to craft two days of absolution So we have to look around and grab stuff so, and stuff headmaster still worried about Malister if you ask me I think Ambrose needs to quit blaming Malister every time something goes wrong in Wizard City Malister Drake was such an inspiring professor most consider him to be the greatest necromancer of our time he understood life's limitations and strove to face them unafraid. Ambrose has suggested for me to stop practicing the death arts. He even suggested I give life a try. Ha! But I keep studying on my own. Maybe one day I will be as powerful as Malister. If you want to find out more about Malister, maybe you should talk to an old friend of his wife. You have heard what happened to Malister's wife, right? No? Oh, if you're interested, go talk to Gloria Crendel in Old Town and ask her about Sylvia Drake. Those two women were close. She could tell you more. Okay, time to go to Old Town. But yeah, that's um, that's all that we just did basically right there. In shorter kind of terms, I basically skipped over like an extra hour of just talking because it's bad stuff's tedious, and I don't want to. Like, that's, that's the kind of stuff that I'll skip and do on my own time kind of thing. So now we need to talk to Gloria Crendel, also the Old Town Smith. Boom. Right there. You want to ask me about Malastare's wife, Sylvia? Oh my, yes. I knew her very well. She taught the life magic class before Mulinda Wu. I sure miss her. What happened to her was such a shame, poor dear. Madame Crindle becomes forlorn as she relives the sad memories. Say, there is something you can do for me, child. Would you go find the scrapbook Sylvia and I made together? I'm not sure how, but Sergeant Skull Splitter has it. Uh, could you go to his tower on Triton Avenue and get it back for me? I remember this battle being tough but let's go collect the scrapbook and then after the scrapbook I think we're going to go do some of the rotting not rotting fodder uh, field 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 guards we'll do that quest after sergeant skull splitter hopefully I can defeat sergeant skull blitter litter his name is Sergeant Skull Blitter. Let's see. Let's see if I can kill this fool. This, this poop. Oh, why did I get out of it? Okay, I'm just gonna speed this little tiny section up. Okay, here so we go. So you've come for the scrapbook that belonged to Malastare's wife, eh? Pity she caught that cold and died. Well, I won't allow you to have it. 
I will deny him any kindness after what he denied me in life. As for you, wizard, prepare to join the ranks of the undead and serve me. He got a graphical overhaul too. He looks a lot better. He's only a rank 2 boss though. Okie dokie. So death and myth, so these guys won't be useful to me. So I'm going to get rid of these shields. I don't care about lightning strikes. Um, I'm going to just lightning batter and see if I can... Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to lightning batter and see if I can just get her out of the way quickly. Please don't fizzle, please don't fizzle, please don't fizzle, please don't fizzle. Yes, okay. So she's probably gone unless I do the weaker attack. But even with the weaker attack, she got a boost. I kind of forgot about that. Let's go. I'm going to delete a pixie and delete a lightning bat. Let's just clash him. Ooh, a snake. I'm resistant. Not a lot, but I'm a little bit resistant. Okay. Mm I wouldn't mind lightning bad him. Should have deleted that prism. Yes. Yes. He's pretty low health. This is a lot easier battle. Okay, I'm deleting that. Um, I can probably just use a snake to end him. I'm thinking. Ooh, hopefully this does end him then, because I don't want to. I don't want to get hit with a thirty plus. Yeah, yeah. Give me that scrapbook. School only and fire accuracy. So both of these are getting sold. Okay, let's go talk to Gloria Crendel. I will be back. Okay, Gloria Crendel. You were able to get the scrapbook from Sergeant Skull Splitter? Oh, good. I was so afraid it was lost forever. It contains all my memories of Sylvia. Madame Crindle begins to thumb through the old scrapbook. Now, let's see. Ah, oh, yes. Sylvia had such a wonderful laugh. It was so sad when she got sick. She got a nasty cold and wouldn't get better. They tried everything to heal her, but nothing worked. Imagine the greatest life professor being struck down like that. She was dying, and that was that. Poor Malastair couldn't stand it. It broke his heart having to let her go. He was never the same afterwards. He withdrew from his colleagues, even from his brother. Sa well, thanks for bringing the scrapbook back to me, child. I am forever grateful. Yeah, that's kind of poopy. I will admit that. It's kind of... It's kind of not fun. Okay, let's go defeat some field guards. Because we need we need to do it for two quests. So I will be back once... Actually, yeah, I'll be back once all the field guards are destroyed. And I have everything.
Okay. That took a decently long time. Ah, you have returned with the straw we need. Excellent. The last thing we need are some sticks for support. The best sticks to get are from the trees around Storm Drain Tower at the end of the haunted cave. You should collect them from there. I'll start wrapping up the straw while you go and get the sticks. Okay, I'll go get the sticks and be back. Okay, for those of you who don't know, the sticks are right here at the end of of um the end of wherever this place is, I forget. This hollowed the hollowed place. Okay, let's go back to him and talk to him. And then hopefully we're almost done. Very good work. These will work just fine. Now I'll get to finishing them up and ship them out immediately. Hoo-ha! I really do appreciate you helping me with these scarecrows, but something else has been bothering me lately. I'm worried about our mill foreman, Sir Homer Sunblade. I haven't seen him since the mill quit running, and one of those ghosts made off with the keystone to the teleporter here. If you could, defeat haunted minions until you recover the keystone. Then we can go check on old Sir Homer. Okay. So I remember this taking a really long time when I used to play this game, so it's probably going to take a decent amount of time now, so I will speed it up and be back with you after I grab this keystone. I realize that this game definitely has a lot of fetch quests, but I'm actually enjoying speeding it up and stuff, but yeah, anyways, I'll speed it up. Wow, okay. First try, and I got it. Thank you for getting the keystone. That has never happened, Black ever. Black fits the keystone into the teleporter. It begins to glow and hums to life. The teleporter is fixed. I'm glad some things are going right around here. Please use the teleporter here to check on our mill foreman, Homer Sunblade. He's been missing since the mill shut down. Let's go. He's like right there, so. I'm fine, you whippersnapper, but we have to get the store mill working again. This mill here is one of the main sources of magical energy for all of Wizard City. The undead sabotaged it. We have to get it running again, or we'll all be in serious trouble. Professor Bailstrom helped design the store mill, so he might know how to fix it. You will need to go to Professor Bailstrom and ask his advice. Go quickly. I'm just gonna mark the location and then go to the commons cause then I can come back faster and I have to remember that that's what I that I put that I put a marker down, basically. Okay, Ravenwood just over here. And then Baelstrom is in the school of storm. What's up, Baelstrom? Dire news indeed! If the mill is not restored, Triton Avenue will lose magical power and the rest of Wizard City will follow! Oh, we must act right away! Tell Sir Homer he can summon a Kraken using Lumina Crystals. Then he can siphon its power back into the storm mill and get it working again. Also, now we're level 10. What level am I? Level 9. I'm almost level 10. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to go grab another one of those, uh, the electrical charges to power the water. Asked if I had some lumina crystals. <laughs> By Gomer's beak. Why didn't I think of that? He's a genius. Here, I'll activate his teleporter. Take all the lumina crystals I have down to the arena. The Kraken will be drawn to them. Oh, I hope you're up for this. You'll have to defeat the Kraken if Triton is going to survive. I know you can do it. Okay. The sea's greatest wrath is about to come crashing down upon you. I am actually going to switch worlds here to a more crowded one. Because then we can maybe, you know, fight. There we go. There we go. Because now we'll have people who will help us fight, right? Okay. 
Get rid of the shield. Get rid of that. Don't want that. I'll get rid of a clash too. And then do that. He uses a power. Oh, never mind. The storm magic of the defeated Kraken flows into the air and up to the mill. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going back to Wu. Wu is the world I like to be on. Hopefully, he's not here and I have to fight him. <laughs> Okay then. He's probably not like the hardest. Don't cast him with the shield. Dispel it. Get rid of his new shield. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Now I can use this. To hit him for a decent amount of power. Wow. He also looks pretty sick. I will say that, that the Kraken does look pretty cool. Okay, let's get rid of a fairy, get rid of a snake, and let's just use a clash. So I want to try and keep the. Thanks for the fizzle. Yeah, let's just keep the clash. Um, did we get anything? We did not. So let's just use another clash. Lightning bats. Pull. Cool. I mean, if we have another clash, we can use another clash, but... Wow, we aren't getting anything. Okay, well... Let's just use another clash, I guess. Yes, I know that was all. That didn't kill. Wow, the one thing I was looking for... Please don't kill me, please. Okay, good. Please cast it. Please don't fizzle. Please don't fizzle. Please don't fizzle. Oh my god. No. Okay, well, let's just finish him off with that because I know it's for sure going to work. Please don't. Please don't hit me hard. 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 Please don't hit me over 280. Like 279. I'm good with 280. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. We're good. We won. It was hard, but we won by ourselves. I mean, it could be easier if we got more of those. But whatever. Let's go back. Talk to this dude. You defeated the Kraken and fixed the mill. Now Lumina Crystals will be produced again. The magic will flow once more. Oh, it is good to know wizards like you, my friend. I hope you'll visit us again. Boom. And we also got the trap. Kraken treasure card. Don't want that. Don't want that. Um, this is good. No. Okay. So let's go to the commons. Talk to Penny Dreadful. Penny Dreadful. Wonderful! Let me see what you found out. Penny takes the worksheets from you and reads them. Her eyes grow wide and she gives seasoning, serving size, cooking time. Oh no! I gave you the wrong worksheets! These are for a report I was writing about the types of food we eat in Marleybone. Don't worry, though. I think I can make these answers work. Thank you. No problem. I can't thank you enough, Wizard, for all your help. I thought I would have a hard time finding friends here, but you've been wonderful. How is you it seem not to know about you? what's going on. Did you hear about Malastare in the death classroom? A year ago, he left here in a storm, and the whole death classroom disappeared. Rode right away from Ravenwood, and you were the last one to see him in the Golem Tower. Is it true what they say, that he's plotting to destroy all of Wizard City? 
why would he want to do that? I hope he stays away from Marleybone. I want to go home someday. That reminds me. Could you do me a favour? I need to mail a letter to my family in Marleybone. Do you know of anyone who travels throughout the spiral? If you do, could you ask them to deliver my letter home? Penny hands you a letter addressed to Desmond and Deirdre Dreadful at 57 Chelsea Court, Marleybone. Okay, Prospector Zeke, what is up? I need to give you some. Hey there, youngster. Anything old Zeke can help you with? You ask him about delivering a letter to Marleybone. Oh, sure. That's no problem. I go there all the time. Let me take it off your head. You give him the letter. There you go. Back to Penny. Wow, she couldn't walk five feet, you know. Oh, thank you so much, wizard. You're the nicest person I've met since coming here. And that is her quest line. Okay, so now what do we have? Just catch fish, golem court, and beggar about solutions. Okay, well, let's go home and get the Dagger of Absolutions. See, we'll see what we have to do, I guess. Okay, so we have a pig piggle that we're going to put down. We have a... We have, a okay, we have, we have that. We have a long blue runner. We have Batten on the Clouds, our first wand. We will actually put that one up. A bird is rapier. We will put that one up too. And then a chair. We'll put that one up. And then we will rotate it. And, and move it. Okay, whatever. How do you... Okay, K. That's not what I wanted to rotate. What the... Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. Just... Resort back. Okay. 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 Stop speed. Steaming. Jeez. How do we craft Athens? Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm over this. I'm, I'm so over that whistling noise. Okay. The quest we have to do is Golem Core that. We have to do a whole bunch of these actually. But that's that. We can do that anytime. Frost decoy and a nice cuta, and then craft the razor's edge. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave this episode here and do the fishing and make the swords on my own time. Um, I won't I won't find any of the guys, and then next time we'll probably do Colossus Boulevard. I think I think that's where we have to go, or Cyclops Lane or something. Triton Avenue, Fire Cat Alley, Cyclops Lane. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, next time we'll go to Cyclops Lane and do that kind of quest line. But anyways, guys, if you guys liked the video and you're enjoying the series so far, um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And as always, I'll see you next video. Bye! Been, oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my god, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I